Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you five different ways you can make money from Instagram using photography. And the first one is to basically build a profile around a certain type of photography and sell the photos through the profile. And you can sell them as an amateur and get started for free by going to a site like Fope and getting their app. You can get it for Android or Apple devices. You can just go to your app store for your phone. And basically you build what is like an Instagram profile where people can follow you, you can follow them, and then you post your images. So you'll notice that the, the style is kind of similar to Instagram and you can sell your photos for like $5 each multiple times per photo. And they are kind of a great place to get started before going kind of full time into this and having a bunch of expensive equipment and all of that. So you can do that with FOP on your Apple or Android device. And then later on, you might move up to stock photography sites like Shutterstock. So Shutterstock, for instance, if you go to Shutterstock.com or if you try Getty Images or whatever, there's a lot of different ones out there. Um, but Shutterstock is one where you can basically get paid to post all kinds of uh, stock photography and you can get paid a little bit for each photo that gets downloaded and the more you make the more you make per image so the more they pay you per image that gets downloaded so it's one of those things where you have to have a lot of volume if you've ever read somebody do like a guest blog post on a site like the penny hoarder or another finance site um, who talks about doing photography full time on sites like shutterstock Typically, they have to post like 90 to 100 new photos a month or something. So you'll have to make a little bit from each photo. Maybe once, maybe one photo will take off every once in a while. But if you want to sell on, Shutterst on Shutterstock, you can go to our company and go to sell content at the bottom of the page. And that's where you can get started um, submitting and selling your content. So... The payouts, again, you get like a few cents. You get like 25 cents starting out per monthly subscriber image. Then you it goes up from there depending on um, how much you've made with the company. And you can build a profile around that. So you might have, say, a wedding photography profile. And then you might also sell your uh, services. Or you might have like a travel profile where you post pictures of yourself traveling all over the place, and then you have um, people buying your photos there and maybe turning them into prints or something. So the second way is kind of back to the wedding photography idea as an example. So if you look at something like Jose Villa or Villa, you can go to his profile and see that he's kind of a celebrity wedding photographer. So there's a lot of celebrities and stuff in these, but this guy definitely makes a lot of money from his services as a photographer also sells prints and if you go to the link in his profile you should end up somewhere on his website like this where you can buy prints you can uh, buy his book you can contact them about you know getting their photography done for your wedding so it's one other way you can make money from instagram is by selling your services so you have some kind of business and Instagram is how you just get traffic to it. And then you have a link in your bio right here and maybe a description of what services you offer. A third way you can do this is by becoming a photographer who is one that endorses products or sells different images as a sponsorship. So basically you can do uh, influencer type stuff. And if you go to like Business Insider, who is always talking about businesses and stuff, uh, they'll talk about in this article how you can kind of figure out how much you might make. In many cases, you might make like 10 or 20 bucks or something if you have, you know, a few hundred followers, but or up to maybe three or 4,000. But once you get into like the hundred thousands and fifty thousand plus and, and in that range you can make a whole lot more per post you know some of these might make as much as nine thousand uh, dollars for a post for like a travel influencer 
And then they talk about some others that might make 10 or 18,000 or something like that for being an influencer. So basically, to become an influencer, you have to partner with sponsors like Nike or these other big brands, and they will pay you to include their product in an image. So it'll look something like this. If you just do hashtag ad on Instagram, you'll see a lot of these types of images because you're supposed to you're supposed to disclose whether it's an ad or not by putting hashtag ad on your Instagram post. So you'll notice that a lot of these are going to be pictures of products or the celebrity using the products or something like that. And usually it will have the logo of the company on there as well. Like for instance, you'll see this right here. It's like some kind of skin cream or something. You see something like this as some kind of food product. Another one that's like a protein cookie or something. And then so you have these different types of ads where you get paid by either going to a site like iFluence where you can uh, sign up and create a profile and get matched with brands based on the niche that your followers are in and how many followers and how much engagement you engagement you have. And then you can also go and create basically a a media kit page, which looks something like one of these. You can just type in media kit. You can find uh, templates for your website. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can just list it yourself on your website, but it's basically like a contact page where you have uh, your, your information about your Instagram profile on there, like your likes, your followers, how much you charge per uh, ad and all of that stuff. So typically, they will contact you by going to your uh, website in your profile. So like you look at pretty much any profile and you'll have some kind of web contact page or their website or their YouTube channel or whatever. And then usually a brand will contact you based on looking at your media kit. And then you can come up with a deal. Or you can, again, go to iFluence, click I'm an influencer, and sign up there to get matched with brands if they haven't already discovered you yet. And then another thing you can do, number four, is do shout outs. So this is fairly close to what a influencer does, but basically you're helping individual Instagrammers kind of grow their profiles instead of helping like a big business sell their product. So in other words, if I'm an Instagrammer and you're an Instagrammer and we're both trying to grow our profiles, I might pay you to give me a shout out on Instagram so that uh, your follow some of your followers might follow me instead of me trying to get you to sell a product or something. So shoutcart.com is a place where you can sign up for that. It's like the iFluence for shout outs basically. And they, they keep about 10% of whatever you charge for these, but you can make, you know, a few hundred dollars or so per shout out by uh, doing this as long as you have, you know, a decent amount of followers, like 50,000 or more. And as far as that goes, you can also use a, a calculator at a company called InfluencerMarketingHub.com. And I'll have a link to this in the show notes, but you can go there, go there and just look up Instagram Marketing Hub uh, Instagram calculator, and it'll be a page that looks like this. You enter your Instagram username, and then it will calculate how much you could make. So you use Kim Kardashian as an example, and then you can click search or cl click calculate for an individual post or however you want to do that. So you can see the full audience demographic, or you can copy the link from a post and paste it there and see how much that post might earn and uh, just use that calculator there. So then of course, make sure you have a media kit for shout outs and for sponsored posts. Whatever kind of photography you're doing, stick to that niche and then make it easy for people to hire you that way. So the last way you can do this is to basically build a profile, taking pictures of whatever or, or being an aggregator of pictures of something like dogs, for instance. So if you were to find like dogs of Instagram, 4.6 million followers, they could just find all kinds of images on social media, post them on Instagram, and then they can build up a profile with, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers, 
And then you could go to a site like Viral Accounts and sell your profile. Once you have at least like 40,000 followers, you can start selling Instagram profiles on these types of sites. So obviously the amount of engagement from your followers, how active they are and stuff will also uh, be a factor in how much you get paid, but they'll pay you via PayPal. And another one is FameSwap. You can go to FameSwap.com. You can sell your Instagram profile there. Again, you just want to do it based on photographs that are along the same niche. Build a brand based on a small niche like dogs or travel or a certain type of travel or a certain type of dog. You can go smaller niche to kind of stand out more. And so those are five different ways. you got photography and selling them, selling prints and stock photography. You have selling your services like a wedding photographer. You have basically being a... Uh, an Instagram influencer and selling sponsored posts. And then you have shout outs and selling profiles. So hopefully this was helpful, gave you some ideas. Check out the playlist that should be popping up in the top right for more ideas like this to make money off of Instagram. And I've covered a lot of different strategies. And then also click the bell icon if you don't want to miss the next YouTube video that I do coming very soon. So hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.